Okay, this video is going to be food and health, IV geography, factors affecting the severity of famine, including governance, the power of the media, and access to international aid, and also a case study. Okay, so let's go through some definitions first. So food security is a state of being in which all people at all times have physical, physically, physical, social, and economic access to sufficient, safe, and nutritious food to meet their dietary needs and food preferences for an active and healthy life. Then we have famine, which is the event of widespread, prolonged shortages of food that cause de disease and death from starvation within a geographical area. Food availability deficit is food shortages caused by physical factors. Um, and that could be local difficulties in supply, perhaps the result of as, as a result of drought or flooding. Food entitlement deficit is food shortages caused by the political and economic framework in an area, rising cost of food, relating to average income, for example. So, like, not having the means to, like, get the food, although it is already there. Um, and then food availability deficit is, like, the food is not even there in the first place, naturally, physically. Okay, now we're going to look at factors affecting the severity of famine. So, governance, power of media, and... In <laughs> access to international aid so governance corruption can impact the distribution of food and that can lead to famine or exacerbation of famine civil unrest can disrupt proper food management power of the media so the media can ex can spread awareness to the public and present real life evidence so that can be helpful in a famine situation it can also raise a lot of money such as live aid raising 300 million dollars only those with TV can access it, however, and it might be corrupt or have underlying like malicious intentions or exploitative intentions, and the manner of portrayal can be overly negative and oversimplify the issue and lead to oversaturation, and this can result in compassion fatigue where like the people are too too used to seeing like famine that they become like desensitized to it and think that it's not as serious as it is because they're so used to seeing it on the TV like over like just too much now we have access to international aid okay so nations can become reliant on international aid for famines and that can even make the famines worse in the future as it, if it continues it can drive up local prices and disincentivize the food production sector because farmers are like they don't have any competition basically anymore because they're getting like all these imports um already uh, there may be unfair conditions attached to the provision of aid as well. So, like, unfair, like, agreements between countries and then that leads countries to be, like, in a worse position possibly than they were previous to the famine event. Okay, so a case study of a famine-stricken country here is Yemen. Yemen is the poorest country in the Middle East. It's on the southern end of the Arabian Peninsula. Human causes of the famine are drought, hundreds of civilians injured per week. Oops. Why did I say drown? <laughs> conflict, hundreds of millions injured per week, presence of terrorist groups, Shia and Sunni conflicts, 3.3 million displaced, gender roles, some children married by 8 years old, women skip their meals for children because they want to provide food to their children and rather themselves, rather than themselves. Economically, food imports account for 90% of food, food prices rose, food price increased by 30%, fuel prices or data port close a very important port for like trade and things uh cholera there was cholera 2000 people died from cholera in 2017 physically drought two-thirds arid land in yemen so you can't it's not fertile land there's a lot of farm closures because of the conflict erratic weather two hurricanes in 2015 locusts in 2016 and um climate change of course uh exacerbating the drought conditions